Hi everyone, I've just been to my mailbox and I've got a few bits of mail. Some Bam Lambo mail. And here's those fossil cetacean teeth, the whale teeth. They're back from Ansto in Australia. They're no longer radioactive. <laughs> um, they had to be in their special vault for a while because after the neutron scanning it's pretty radioactive. Uh, but that's decayed I think is the right term <laughs> uh, so it's safe to handle now again and now I can start prepping it and I can use those images that are received to know exactly where the teeth are you can see there's some really big ones over here it looked like there was a complete one inside here from the scan so I'm very excited to get into this yeah we've got one from Broken Owl Productions really cool logo I've just taken the uh, tape over the address Excited to see what this will be. Oh, that's cool, it's a Christmas card. I think it's a Christmas card. <laughs> awesome. I don't think I've ever received a Christmas card. Mem Lemo, this is an early Christmas gift. These Dino postcards are based on our new vector downloads. Enjoy. Broken Owl Productions. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> oh, that's really awesome. Here's one from Stuart and Caroline. You might remember that really awesome piece of art they sent me a while back. That display piece. And they also 3D printed and painted one of my other fossils, the fossil crab. Ooh, look at that. Some safety glasses. <laughs> Thanks so much, Stuart and Caroline. Yeah, I really need safety glasses. I always get scratches on mine, so these look to be really good quality. Thanks for that. <laughs> Normally I do the, you know, the safety squints. <laughs> Let's see, what's this? Ooh, a DIY <laughs> excavate your own dinosaur fossil. I love these. <laughs> I've had quite a few of these. I haven't had this one yet before. This is a really cool one. <laughs> it even comes with some digging tools. <laughs> cool little brush and a tiny little hammer. <laughs> and a tiny like plastic chisel. These are so cool. Thanks so much, Stuart and Caroline. I'm going to enjoy seeing what's in here. There's something sticking out there already. <laughs> A lot of times these ones have genuine fossils in, like fossil shark teeth. And this one is from the Netherlands, I think. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's nicely wrapped up. Oh, it's nice and heavy. It's quite a few things in here. This is from Silas. Thanks so much, Silas. We talked about this. I'm excited to see it. Oh, look at those. Those crinoids. Very cool. I've never found one myself. <laughs> Look at that. It's just packed full of fossils. That's really cool. All sorts of things in there. It's a beautiful piece that. Another one over here. Let's see. Oh yeah, some more crinoid stems. Those are beautiful. Those are big ones. I think they're crinoids. A 
these will come in really handy. I find I um, identify fossils a lot easier if I've seen them in real life. I mean, photos are cool and everything, but it's much easier to identify something once you've actually seen it and held it. Look at all those pieces. Thanks so much, Silas. That's awesome. So really beautiful. And then I've also received my copy of the book of Folden Ma. So Daphne Lee had a talk at the rock club I'm part of, and this is the book she wrote um, with a few other co-authors over there. I'm not going to try and pronounce Uwe, Kelfas, and John Conran, um, and Daphne Lee. So it's full of amazing photos of the Folden Ma. I'm going to have to do an episode just on the Folden Ma, but it's one of the most important paleontology areas, deposits in New Zealand. It's just full of plants, flowers, fish, so many fish, and even some bigger animals. So it's a really great place. And unfortunately, it's under threat. So, you know, people want to mine this diatomite to use as a fertilizer or something, or cattle feed. I'm not too sure what they want to use it as. So, yeah really worth looking into it's a very very cool book this it's got amazing photos in there and all about this folder ma area if you don't know what a ma is <laughs> um, i'll try and link to a video i'm sure there's a video on youtube somewhere about mars yes yeah, amazing amazing fossil location Fossils. Awesome. Selenite. Some selenite crystals, I think. Oh, thanks so much, Caleb. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's see what's going on inside here. Yeah. Might be a bit of something written in here. Yeah? So it says, yeah, these selenite specimens came from. Janju, I think. I really hope you enjoy these gifts. They were quite tricky to find. I do really appreciate it, Caleb. Some sort of event occurred with hot water and created these selenite crystals many millions of years ago. Oh, that's awesome. Let's have a look. Be careful. I don't want to break anything. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really amazing. Look at those crystals in there. Some beautiful selenite crystals. This one's so clear. <laughs> oh, I'm soaked with those. Thanks again everyone that sent me such cool things, I really appreciate it. And this is a really good book, so check it out if you can. Um, I'm sure it's going to be in your local library if you're in New Zealand. Stay safe everyone, I'll see you on the next hunt.